Hi everybody, it's Ty Molly and I am here today to talk to you about getting started with a Poshmark page. Getting your closet started, the do's and the don'ts and following the procedures of what you need to do to start reselling those gently used clothes or those new clothes that have just been sitting in your closet that you are not doing anything with. Why not resell them? Why not get money for something that you've only worn once that you'll probably never wear again? Because let's be real, we sit around, we buy these expensive dresses or, you know, nice clothes. We go out to the club, take a picture, we put it on Instagram, and then what? We never wear it again. We feel like, well, I might wear it again. You're not. And then you don't want to just donate them because you feel like, I didn't get enough wear out of them or it's still pretty good. I just don't want to give it away. So why not resell it? Simple. You make money, you're getting rid of it, and then with the money that you've made, you can buy more clothes. Well, I know for me, that's what I do. With my profit from um, Poshmark, I buy new clothes. Who doesn't love clothes? So I'm going to talk to you today about how to get started with your Poshmark page. Why is Poshmark for you? Well, first, let me get started with this. If you are a shopaholic like myself and you just buy whatever you see, if you like it, if it's a cute pattern, it's a pretty color, cute cut, or if it's just like, I have to have that and you buy it and half of the time you never wear it or you don't have anywhere to wear it to because it's just so nice or so over the top, and it's just, it, it basically it sits in your closet. So Poshmark is for you. Get rid of those things that are cluttering your closet, that are just hanging on hangers that you know you're never going to wear. Or even the items that you feel as though I've posted a picture in it. I took the picture. I put it on the gram. They seen it on a snap. So I can't wear it again. Whoa. So I can't wear it again. So why not resell that? I don't know what it is about people that they feel like they can't wear outfits twice. But me? Oh, I'm going to get my money's worth. I am going to get my wear out of it. But if it's something like a special event, I understand that. Wear it once, take the picture, resell it. Don't just have it just sitting in your closet collecting dust. Make money off of it, sis. Get your coins. Okay, so that's why Poshmore is for you. Get your money. Okay, so getting started with Poshmark, you need to first go to your app store and download the app. It is called Poshmark. Download the app, get started creating your profile. Once you have created your profile and your username, let me tell you this. You cannot change your username, so pick a username that you would like. Mine is Ty, of course, I'm Ty Molly, so it's Ty. So it says Ty's Closet. So if your username is going to be Lonely Girl 07, it's going to say Lonely Girl 07 Closet. <laughs> so pick a name that you're, you're going to like and you're going to stick with. So mine, like I said, is Ty's Closet. And I'm going to put a link below for you all to visit my closet. Maybe you'll like something, maybe you won't. Maybe you share it, maybe you won't whatever i'm gonna list <laughs> i'm gonna put the link down below so once you get started with poshmore you basically um you're gonna pick your three favorite brands that you like to shop from they're gonna ask you a list of questions and then you just pick your brands they have brands from all the way from like target and walmart like the faded glory and the um other ones that target sales because that'll be walmart I forgot the brand's Target sales, but like Ava and Viv, I think it is. And then they'll have like your higher brands, like your Chanel and um, Louis Vuitton and things like that. So it's a wide spectrum of different brands from good quality to fair quality. So you can choose from a lot. You pick your favorite three. You can also pick other ones and you can basically just shop different closets or different brands, I should say. But once you get started, look around, get a feel for it to see what it is and what it has, what's going on. Um, one thing I want to say, once you create your page, you're going to get friend requests 
just out the wazoo. <laughs> it's just going to be like so and so added. Well, no, it's a so and so follows you. So and so is following you. It's just going to be back to back to back. You can follow those people as well. It's okay. It's just going to basically allow more people to see your closet um because they're following you so they'll see the post that you post they're not going to get like a notification or anything like other social media like so and so posted a post or anything like that it's just more so they'll be the first ones to see it they can share your information and you can share theirs as well so once you do that like i suggest like i said Look around, get a feel for it to see if it's something that you like and something that you don't like. So, first, of course, like I said, you're going to look around to just get a feel for everything and to see what Poshmark has to offer you. Um, so, now you're at the point you're either ready to resell an item or you're ready to just shop and buy items. I'm not really big on shopping um, on Poshmark. I had an incident with my first purchase on Poshmark, so I really haven't bought anything since then. <laughs> so it was more so that the person was not honest um, about the item that was shipped to me, but that's for another story. I, I'm just going to get into how you get started and then how you avoid situations like that. So let's say you're ready to start reselling your items now. So we're just going to pick an item. And I bought these the other day. These heels. I got. Um, they're size 11. I'm a 10. I bought them um, just to see if they will work for me. And they don't. So what I'm going to do now, starting out. You'll take pictures of your item. So you'll basically take multiple pictures. You can upload up to eight pictures. It used to be four, but they updated. So now you can do eight pictures. You're going to start off with a front picture. I usually take it like that. I also do a side picture on both sides. I sometimes do a picture like this as well to show that there are like no toe prints. You know, like sometimes when your toe sweats, so to show that, you know, they're still new, of course, but if they were worn shoes, I would show to see if there were like any type of toe prints or any dirt or debris. I also take a photo from behind and I take the bottom photo like this to show that there is no like wear and tear. They haven't been worn. They're not scraped up or anything like that. So for this shoe, I will be honest, of course, because that's what you're supposed to do. So when I list the shoe, I have to be descriptive to show that there is an imperfection. So I would zoom in on that part of the shoe and take a good photo so they can see. And I will also be very descriptive to let them know that there is a patch of suede um, kind of like missing or, you know, scratched off or just basically list that there is some type of imperfection on this shoe. What you never want to do is basically know that there is something wrong with the shoe or item and you don't list it. You ship it to someone and it's not what that person thought it was. That's the incident that happened to me. But I'll talk about that in another video if you all want to hear what happened. Um, because it was just kind of messed up because she was not truthful at all. But that did not steer me away from reselling items. That just made me want to be more honest about my items and make sure I'm being very descriptive for the client or the purchaser. Um, so you'll take multiple pictures of your photos, take them as close, you know, or take them as far away, basically so you can get a good photo. Um, know your backdrops. Um, sometimes I try to use the same backdrop or a nice backdrop. And then sometimes if I'm just rushing and trying to upload a picture, I'll just take the picture on my bed and just, you know, keep it going. So it's up to you. How do you want to do your closet? Um, me, I'm, I'm just taking photos and reselling things. It doesn't have to be like 100% um glamour lights and things like that that's not me some other closets they'll um what do you call it like lay out a whole outfit just to sell a pair of shoes 
it's cute it does look nice it does draw you in for the eye but i'm not doing all that and i've had pretty good sales since i've been on i've been on for a year and probably like two to three months and i've sold maybe i should have checked my stats before i made this video but i probably sold maybe around 50 to 60 things um i haven't been on as active every month like over this past year some months i'm more active some other months i'm very less active it's just all you know what you have time for that's why i like like this app okay sorry i get sidetracked really fast i think i have like adhd or something i don't know but i get sidetracked really bad everybody knows that about me um you too will learn that in these videos okay so back to the shoe so you take your photos, you upload the pictures of your photos, and then you go through the steps of describing the shoe. So you'll come up with a title for your shoe. It could be just something selling about the shoe, something catchy to draw them in. And then you're gonna have a description box. With the description box, that's when you're gonna tell about the imperfections. You're gonna tell like the, um, the height of the heel or whatever the item is you're just going to basically sell your item in there like hey it's a brand new black suede faux suede shoe from target heel is we're going to say three i hadn't measured them yet whatever so you're basically just going to be descriptive you're going to go down to the bottom of that and it's going to ask you the original price so you're going to list the original price of these shoes or whatever some people don't put the original price they just put zero maybe because they can't remember the original price like they don't have the receipt or they rather not tell the original price that they pay for it. solely up to you i typically um just put zero because half of the time i don't remember the original price that i pay for things because i've had things for so long so <laughs> with the um i put zero for the original price and then under this you're going to put your listing so you're going to put your price i'm selling these for 15 dollars. so let's get into that for the money i'm going to sit these down okay for the money aspect of it if an item is over 15 dollars, so if it's 15 dollars and over Poshmark gets 20% of your sale. Let me say that again so you can understand. So if you're selling something $15 and over, Poshmark will get 20% of your sale. So if I'm selling a pair of shoes for $20, Poshmark will get 20%. So they'll get $4, which I will take home $16. So kind of keep that in mind when you're listing your items. I'm not saying over charge for an item just to get the amount of money that you want, but just keep that in mind once you're posting and listing items and you know put in the price that you want. Okay. So if the item is under $15, Poshmark takes $2.80. So, if an item is $10, they will take $2.80. Is it $2.80? I think. It might be $2.90. I think it is $2.90. I'm sorry. I should have checked these facts. Um, I'll list the information below if it is incorrect. But I know they take like $2.80 and $2.90 or whatever. One of the two. But I'll list all the correct information below so you'll know. My apologies. Um, but so again, so if it's under the $15, they're going to take like $2.80 or $2.90. And if it's over the $15, they're going to take 20%. So just keep those prices in mind once you're reselling the item because you are, you know, you want to make a profit off the items that you're selling. You don't want this to just be like, I'm selling stuff and I'm not receiving money for it. 
but yeah um and once you list your price and everything just of course always proofread your information um, make sure everything looks the way you want to make sure you've taken really good pictures and you're going to hit submit you're going to hit next and then voila you have your items listed so now your items are ready to be shared you can just share your items and they'll go to like all your followers they'll get shared to the page so let's say um these are from Target. Those are the, I think it's pronounced Moroni, Morona or something like that brand. So they'll get shared to my followers and they will also get shared to that brand's page as well. Um, they'll also get shared to heels because I'll put, I'll list the description as like chunky heels or platforms or something like that. And they'll also get shared to that. So if somebody goes on and they put in the search box, chunky heels, and if that's what I described those as, those will pop up. So if somebody puts in Morona, those will pop up. If somebody comes to my page or somebody follows me and they're searching like, you know, things that have just been shared, those will pop up. So you have multiple ways that people will see, you know, your items. Um, but now you just keep listing items. Um, right now, I think I have about 40 something items for sale. And uh, like I said, I've sold about 50 to 60 maybe items since I've been on. So the next step, now you've listed your item and now what's the next step? The next step is to share, share, share. Constantly share your item throughout the day. Different times of the day, different times of the night, whenever you grab your phone to get on Snapchat or to get on Facebook or Instagram or whatever you're about to do, go to that Poshmore app and share your items. The more you share your items, the more, um, you know, people see your items. And then other people like your followers, they'll share your items as well. So with the sharing, um, I like the sharing, but then sometimes it can be a little overwhelming because when you have a follower and that follower shares your item, it's kind of like you feel a little obligated <laughs> to share their items as well. So let's say one of my followers that they'll share maybe like five of my things. So now I feel obligated to share at least three to five of their things. Like it's kind of like a tip for tat type of thing, but just depending on who you are and how you operate, you'll know if you want to share other people's stuff as well as, you know, they share your things. Some people don't share at all. They just post their things and they keep it moving. But to me, that's not how you see a profit. You have to constantly share your items like throughout the day. So most of the times when I wake up in the morning, I'll get on and see if it was any activity overnight. Um, so I, if it is, well, sorry, if there is not any activity, I will just share, share, share like most of my things. Sometimes I try to share all of my things, but like I said, I have 40 that's available to be um, purchased. So I typically share maybe like the top 10 items that I know are like pretty good and like pretty like newer urban, like hip <laughs> hip type clothes I'll go ahead and share those but I'll share my items throughout the day so if I'm at work and it's kind of slow I'll share a couple of things on like breaks I'll share lunch I'll share after work like before I go to the gym I'll share after the gym I'll share on the treadmill at the gym I'll share if I'm on the bike I share if I'm stationary and I'm not busy like with my hands I share my items and I also share, you know, friends that I've made on Poshmore or friends that I have that have Poshmore pages. My mom has a Poshmore page. So I share my things. I share my family's things, my friends' things. And I also just share people that I follow and people that follow me. I share their things. So it's all about sharing on um, Poshmark. I did watch a video with the young lady and she said that you don't really have to share other people's things. You really just need to share your things. It's like I kind of agree with that, but then I think it is kind of courteous to, you know, share other people's things and see what they have. And you drive sales for other people and then they share your things to their followers and it drives like sales and drives people to go to your page to see what you have to offer. But sharing, like I said, is solely up to you if you want to share or not. You know what you can handle. 
I share. Anytime I pick up my phone to get on a social media app, I'll go to um, Poshmark and I will share, 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 and then I'll go do whatever I need to do. So let's talk about if you've sold an item. So now you get this um, message to say like you sold something. Well, first, before you sold it, let's say somebody makes you an offer. So on Poshmark, they have the ability or, you know, they're able to make an offer. So for these shoes that are $15, if somebody made me an offer and they say like, hey, I'll give you $13 for them, will you take that? So you'll get the like the um message or notification that shows that, hey, um, so-and-so made an offer on the shoe. So I open up that offer. I see that this person has offered me $13 for the shoe. So I can be like, hmm, yes or hmm, no. So let's say I say no. I'm firm at my 15. I can decline the 15, oh, excuse me. I can decline their $13. If I want to counter offer, I'm able to do that. So with the counter offer, you can counter offer for let's say $14. Or in all honesty, you can counter offer back to your original $15 if you want. <laughs> it's up to you. But um, so you can counter offer somebody's offer or you can just decline that offer and say like, hey, you can add them and say, hey, I'm firm at my $15. Or if you, you're you okay with the $13, you can just accept that offer and you're just good to go. So now you made an offer. Well, they've made an offer. Let's say you accept the $13. Fine. So now you'll get a notification. It'll be like a little green money um, symbol that says like so-and-so just purchased your black suede shoes. Um, you know, begin your shipping process. So... Now, if you already sold the item, you basically have three days what they prefer for you to ship them out in three days. But I think in reality, you have about five to seven days to ship the item out. But it looks good and they recommend that you ship the item within the first three days of um, selling the item. So now, I want to talk to you about boxing it up. Okay. So with Poshmark, they do give you um, under like the frequently asked questions or just like step-by-step -step process of how to go about everything. Um, for the mailing, this is the typical box that's used or typical box that I use, let me say that. This is from the United States Postal Service. Um, you can get these at your local post office basically or you can actually order these online i went to the post office about a couple weeks ago to get like a you know a new re-up on all my boxes because i used to like to get about four to five at a time but it was a new lady she was pretty stern and she was like well i'm not supposed to give you more than two boxes at a time i said okay that's fine you know the guy that was working there would give me four he was like pretty nice but she was you know by the books I don't fault her for that at all. So, but she did tell me that you are able to get this box online. Um, they ship them in like sets of either five or ten. Um, they have different sizes. This is just a small mailing box. This box is free. If you go to the post office and get this box, it is free. If you order online to get this box, it is free. Now, for ordering online for these free boxes, I do not know if they um, charge you for shipping and handling. I don't know. I have not purchased those. I typically try to go in when other people are working and get my box. <laughs> but um, this box is free. So if you are going to the post office to get this box to mail your items in, make sure it just says mailing box. You'll see other boxes like this that say flat rate shipping or regional A. And it's it. I think it's another one that says something else. But those are not it. Make sure you ask for the free priority mail boxes. Not flat rate, not your regional ones. It has to be the free box. Because what will happen is once your item has sold, like I said, you'll get the notification that your item has sold. You'll get the little money green sign. And then you'll also get an email from Poshmark. In that email, Poshmark will print you, well, Poshmark will email you a shipping 
label to put on this box. With that shipping label, it's going to have your address information and it's going to have the person that you're sending it to address information. Just as well as like this I ordered from Torrid. So for that, of course, it has Torrid's address and then it'll have my address. So if it was a Poshmark label, it'll have your information here. It'll have who you're shipping it to here. Okay. So print out your label, attach it to your box. Now, if you don't want to go to the post office to get this box, um, if you're like me, I do a lot of online shopping, um, a lot of online shopping. So, if you have boxes that are just around the house, this is from Sam's Beauty Online. Um, so, if you just have regular boxes around the house, you are able to do that. So, what I would do is, and I think I've already done it. Oh, I would rip this label off that was sent to me. I'll rip that off. I'll package my um, items up. And then I'll put my new shipping label on this box. So what I typically like to do is, since I order so many things online, like I say, I typically keep these bags. This is my new swimsuit for my 30th birthday. But I typically keep these bags that things are shipped to me in. I reuse these to ship my items out. So let's say someone bought those shoes. I would take my swimsuit out of this bag. I'll put the shoes in this bag. I'll go ahead and box it up. With the boxing, I like to make it like nice and festive and pretty, you know, things that I just like. So I typically um, typically get like tissue paper and I go ahead and decorate it like I'm sending someone a gift or something like that. I'll get, sorry, I'll get different colors. I also have a white pack. So these came, I think... Um, they had all like different pastel and primary colors. I got these from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I think it was a pack of 30 little tissue papers. But then I got this one from Hobby Lobby. It was a Christmas party pack and it's just all white. And these were $4.99, but they were 50% off at the time. And these came with a hundred in. So I'll mix them up with different colors. And I like Sorry. And I like to leave a little note on the inside. Some of my notes are just simply, thank you for um, purchasing this item. I hope you enjoy. XOXO. Ty Molly. Keep it short and sweet. It's just a handwritten note. I might draw little hearts or asterisks or something on top. Just cute and let them know that I really appreciate them, you know, buying the item. Sometimes, um, cause I used to coupon, so sometimes I used to put like, um, lipsticks and lip glosses that I would get like couponing from Walmart or Dollar General or something like that. I'll just put those in like just as a little thank you or a little bonus type of free gift thing. You don't have to do that if you don't want to or you can, it's solely up to you. But that's really it about the packaging. Um, once you've sold the item and you've shipped it well you packed it to be shipped and that's it um oh no sorry what you do is sorry once you got your label um on your box of course and you tape it up make sure you tape it up pretty good to where you know the tape won't come off or don't you know can't be tampered with type of thing um make sure you are dropping it off at the post office or you are handing it handing it directly over to a postal worker um you don't want to just leave it at a mailbox or leave it on your porch or anything like that unless you live in a really good neighborhood or something like that so i typically drop mine off at the post office or if i'm at work i'll take it to work and when the um the mailman comes to pick up the mail from work i'll hand this over to him and what they do is they'll scan that barcode to show that you know they picked that item up so you'll get a notification that says, thanks for shipping, um, you know, the item. And I believe the person on the other side gets a notification that says, like, your item has shipped. I try to stay in contact with the purchaser to let them know, like, hey, I'm going to ship your item out tomorrow morning or whatever the case may be. I try to let them know just because I like to know when I buy things from places. Because it's like, once you buy that item, once you click submit and come, you know, you confirm 
and everything. Now you're waiting like, where's my package? So I try to let people know like every step of the process if I can. Um, I typically, like I say, I try to get the things out the very next day. But with Poshmark, you do have the three days to get the items out. Okay. So now you have sold the item, you packaged the item, and you have shipped the item. So now you are ready for the money. Well, I like to say Skrilla, but my friends tell me like I'm too old and I'm not hip anymore. So I can't say Skrilla and Skrilla not hip. So now you're ready for your money. Skrilla. Okay, so once the item has been shipped, you'll get the tracking information and the purchaser will get the tracking information. Once the, they have accepted that um, package from the post office, they have three full days. Three full days. I want you to just understand the three full days. You know, because sometimes we're like, okay, it's three days later. It has to be three full days. So if they receive it on the 12th at 1 p.m., they have until the 13th the 14th and the 15th 1 p.m to accept the gift they must accept the gift not gift the package sorry they must accept the package the item so basically they uh, poshmark gives the person three four days to inspect the item make sure it's what they ask for and everything like that um, once they have uh, accepted the gift within those three days, you get your money to your Poshmark account. If they do not accept it within three days, Poshmark will automatically release the money to your Poshmark account. So they have three days to see if anything is wrong or you didn't talk about a flaw or an imperfection and they can open up a claim against you if you lied. Well, I don't want to say you lied. But if you neglected to leave a description, you know, regarding some type of imperfection. But if everything's okay and they accept the, um, the package, then you get your money. If they wait too long after the three days, you still get your money. So the money goes into a Poshmark account. With that account, you can keep the money in there for as long as you want. You can purchase other things on Poshmark, like you're able to shop and you're able to um, use that money that's in your account to purchase those things, or you are able to direct deposit the money into your account. They do give you the option of receiving a check by mail, but I mean, it's 2018. I don't know who's requesting a check be sent to their address. I would rather you just direct deposit the money into my account. So I set it up with the information from my bank, the bank name, routing number, account number, and I release the money until into my bank. It takes about anywhere from three to five business days, but it usually, just that first time, it takes the longest. I guess they're just verifying some information like with Poshmark and your bank. But after that, my money usually goes within two to three days maybe. Once I release it to my bank, it takes about two to three days. And once it's released to my bank, I mean, it's my money. And what do I do with it? I buy new clothes to wear once or to resell. That's just what I do. So, but now that's basically, you know, how you get started with a Poshmark page. Um, I would suggest doing your research, um, looking around on different people's pages to see how they operate, how they list things, how they describe their items. Um, watch a couple YouTube videos to see people who, you know, like Poshmark compared to people who don't. Some people prefer to resell on eBay more. You can with eBay, but with eBay, you're able to resell any and everything. With Poshmark, it's strictly like fashion, like your clothes, shoes, accessories, makeup, things like that. So just look around, um, get a feel for it. I like Poshmark. It's a good income source for me to buy other things. Like I said, I use my money from Poshmore, I buy wigs, I buy um, clothes, jewelry, accessories. I just, I keep that money and I just recycle that money. I wear it a couple times and then 
I'll sell it. It's just, it's an easy way for me to stay with current clothes and also shop <laughs> like it, it's easy for me and I'm, I'm i'm getting money from it so i do like it i suggest you all give it a try if you have any other questions or comments or concerns if you want to critique me in this video i know that i'm all over the place again my mind works like a hamster in the little spinning wheel thing like a hamster in a cage that's how my mind works so i have so many things that i want to say pertaining to poshmark so I'll probably do other videos to list more information, especially if you all have questions. But this one was just basically um, how to start a Poshmark, what kind of to expect, um, a step-by-step -step of what you need to do to list. I'm pretty sure there were things that I forgot to mention. Um, again, I can do that in another video. So if you have any advice for me, if you've been doing Poshmark for a while and you wanna share some tips or um, just give me feedback. Just let me know. I am open and I am ears. And I hope that this can help you all either save money or this can help you all make money or you can make money to save money. I have a friend that um, I suggested Poshmark, Poshmark excuse me, to her and she sells things and she puts the money directly into her savings account. Like she doesn't even touch her money. And I'm like, girl, I got to buy new things. I like to do things. So I can't do that. But she does. She likes to save it. I like to spend it. It's up to you how you want to do it. Um, I think I touched on pretty much the basic one-on-ones about getting started and selling on Poshmark. Again, um, read the frequently asked questions. If there's more step-by-step, -step, I might do that in another video. But this is just the gist of how to save money and to make money. Talk to you all later. It's Ty Molly.